Hey, what's going on guys? How are you doing? Welcome to a new video tutorial on the series of learning Electron. So I hope you all watched the last tutorials. If you're not, go ahead and watch them. If, if yes, so continue with me in this series in here. So in a couple of last tutorials, we've covered how getting started in environment setup and talks about this Electron LF framework that will us do a really nice things. And actually for today, we're going to talk about the dialogue. So dialogue is a very important thing for desktop application. So whether like there is an, an, an error, Awkward on your application, so you just can display a pop up in here, or like let's say a dialogue, it's named a dialogue with like an error logo, it says error awkward on this like process or something, or you can just open up a, a dialogue for opening a file like Windows specific or specific, yeah, dialogue for opening the files, opening images, saving files, all of these kind of things are dialogues, and it's very easy to use with Electron in here. So all you need to do is include the remotes as in here as we have done in here. So it's from the Electron module so we can't get from the main process directly we need to use the remote module in here so for the dialog we can do let's dialog uh, equals remote dot, dot dialog so dialog all this is what, what we need to do actually to get the dialog modular so we can start using it right out of the box and I've created another button in here I just named it my second button and open dialog button it's just very simple thing on my HTML file so we can just assign BTN and I have actually layered the button as you can see in here from document get member ID and now I'm gonna listen an event so add event listener and we're gonna use the click event and actually we get the actual events uh, objects and we all we do is actually open up a dialog so we use our dialog uh, modular to say open uh, show open dialog this show open dialog gonna open like show us a dialog for opening files and stuff so we can do a show open dialog the first thing is uh, the configuration or the 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 options you want to pass in so you pass in an object let's say the title so which title you can pass in the limited um, uh, files you want to open like images for like only PNG or JPEG or only EXE file or something like this you can get the full documentation of this from the electron.org js.org actually and for that as you can see up in the dialogue documentation so why I've gone into the clipboard anyway so let me go back as you can see you can get the dialogue so all well, the dialogue is very very self-explanatory so open dialogue gets like the title default back and the options then the callback so the callback if you go scroll all the way down it gonna gives you the file paths so whenever he pressed the or select the files he want to open uh, it, it, it calls back the function and returns the file pass so you can open your files then uh, so this is how it works for the callback so let's say simple uh, dialog then here you put the, the, the callback actually so the callback and file paths and so let's console.log file paths and file pass as simple as that this is how gonna pass in or print us the file pass so this will open up a dialog on us on when clicking on the button so let me just try make sure to npm run start i've already done this so let me just use that and i'm opening here uh toggle developer tools so when we click open dialog we get a dialog in here as windows specific dialog if you are on, on another platform let's say osx mac osx you're gonna get your platform independent thing so this is like a uh, cross platform so you get your platforms whenever like let's say you select this paypal orders thing and click ok you get the callback and it just prints out the file pack like c user slap it with desktop yada 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 and the actual file pass then you can use like a file system open method to open up and parse this files then you can you, you know how to do that but this is like the platform independent specific open dialog thing there's also another other couple dialogues things so if you go back in there and like show save dialog this save dialog whenever you want to save a, a file so you just open up a save dialog and tell the user where to save the file there's show message box and this show, show music box is just a very simple thing dialog show message box gives also the 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 options in here so one of the options is message which is what is your message you want to deliver uh, hey um let's say so hey I uh, know it's not working specifically so 
Okay, I need to use double quote over here. So hey, um, message, and just like this. And also there is a title. So for the title, what is the title of this one? Uh, simple dialogue. And the other one is the callback. So probably there is nothing to pass in the callback. And just call this one and that should open up the message so i believe the callback is gonna be triggered once we press ok so like message ok so let me just comment this out so we won't guess like dialogue conflicts between both of these dialogues and try to refresh this one do not restart the whole application just refresh this you can go to view reload and reload everything in here open dialogue nice one so uh, you can see hey i am message and a simple dialogue you can press ok button and the callback gonna be triggered in here so there's also a couple things in here but you got the points is like the uh, the one you can check out the documentation for more and more things and like all the the methods are available and the events trigger and all this kind of thing so you can use it right out of the box as you can see it's very very simple other thing i want to mention in here in this tutorial is sessions and cookies so you're gonna need a lot of like help cookies or the help of cookies so you're going to use it quite a lot so cookies are like piece of data if you're a web developer so also electron offers us the cookies in here uh, over sessions so you can access the main session then get the cookies you can get the available cookies or you can set them as well so this is like the the main thing or the basic structure how to require the session and get default session I've already like set up a thing in here for just a simple thing let me encounter this one in here all the thing it does in here is very very simple so uh, I get the session and the session from the remote session the access to the uh, electron session module then session dot default session we should get the default session because each window is gonna get like a specific session in here if the web content change so just do session if you're working with just a single window then when opening other windows are going to be child windows of the main window don't worry just do a session default session then you can access the cookies then just set a cookie make sure to get or to on the set cookie to have three this three uh, object values and p key values actually the name the value and the url like very uh, those are required things if you don't put one of these they're gonna get like a weird error so make sure to have three of those and also there's a callback with an error if any error gonna be triggered you can call select a log in here so like simple session default session cookies and set the cookie and after setting the cookie what i'm doing is getting the cookie actually all all the available cookies here you can pass in the filter let's say the name of the cookie is equals foo each cookie has the name of foo it gonna be uh, like called back or passed back in here if I'm using nothing it gonna just put back or give us back all the cookies available out there which I'm doing in here and just calling console log them to the console so now if we got refresh and we're gonna get an object in here and just an object of length make sure like the cookies are array and here are our things so if you go to the domain as you can see localhost and name see foo and the path and secure false you can also set all of these kind of things in here and for the session of the value bar as you can see this is our cookie we have set in here so our cookie is very very useful for our like authentication, for sending headers, file default headers, all of these kind of things, cookies are very very useful. And Electron offers them in a very very simple way actually. So they are very very nice, very specific actually, and very easy to use. There's also a couple of like events, like when a cookie change, the change events, and do the cookie. Uh, the cookie object gonna be triggered so you can you would know when the cookie has changed or not and also a couple of methods for setting removing a whole cookie you can just cookies remove and you're gonna get remove the cookie out there it's very simple very very easy to use also very efficient when using cookies and also you can check out the from the documentation the session documentation because it's gonna be very very useful for you when developing electron application using session and solving all of this kind of things using session as well another thing I want to mention in here before the end of this video tutorial is the browser view so browser view are also very very important thing like 
let's say you want to layout another like web page let's say you want to layout our website or my website in here into your application how you can do that using web view in here and as far as I can tell web view or browser view is deprecated from electron they are saying on a notice like this web view module can be removed at any time from the from the electron so make sure to keep an eye on this watch it if it's gonna be removed but i'm just gonna ex explain this one in here because it's very very useful on your development thing so all you do is browser review then like open a new browser window let's say then for the view you set like into node integration false like this like configuration thing you can check it on on the documentation of down there and set the browser view from the window as simple as this this is how it's going to be done very very easy to use and also very very simple so let me just do that uh, I have in here uh, browser view so browser view equals remote dot browser view so this is how you can get it I believe this browser view is a capital letter okay at the beginning and here we can access or we can do our browser view so let me just render out simple browser view down here so actually all we do is create a browser view with this references in here so let me just do let's view equals new browser or oh, actually is not a capital letter let me just or let me just go back over here and make a capsule B and go down browser view and actually we put some kind of an object in here for note integration let me copy paste this down in here for fast integration then to tell the window or whatever window you want to attach this browser view to is you just say the window set browser view and passing the view and you can set the bounds like uh, the the width and the heights of the browser view and the x and y position of that then you can load a url from out there let's say for example electron or any other website load it down there into the browser view as simple as this you can load this so let me just do this and to get actually the current window you can use the main.js and export node.js and all these kind of things and also remote module offers us a very very simple way to do that is get current window which is what because we are working on only one window in here you can just do this trick in here but if you are working on couple like windows multi window application make sure to choose the right window for you in here so get the right window let me just say or I'm uh, sorry, so let me window or well, let's say this is going to be main window equals remote get current window and this is actually a function and for the main window we can set browser view and then we pass in our view then actually for the view we set the bounds as simple as this how we can do it so view dot set bounds and for the bounds it is x zero y zero and with uh, let's say around 500 or 400 height is going to be about let's say 300 then to layout the url from the external url you do view web contents dot url so view dot web contents dot layout url then you pass in a url out there so let's say i want to for example use the same url like electron atom dot io and we should pass that in here and we should see our web view when we run the application so let me now let's reload the application and let's check out the web view so it's just gonna take about a couple of seconds to load and boom yeah this is like where we have placed our view and as you can see this is the electron page uh, I was getting in here you can load any other page over here though this is going to be very useful for you if you are using this application to load like multiple pages parse pages things and stuff but i think this is deprecated i just want to show off this one for you if you find it useful please make sure to push that like button i guess this is pretty much it guys for today's tutorial it was very simple tutorial just checking out or covering a couple of things from electron api and make sure to check the documentation because i can't cover all of this like uh up modules in here like into the electron a lot of them there's clipboard there is environment variables there's menus are very simple and very self-explained 
you can just get into that and start working with it or playing around with this and you're gonna get into the how, how it works and it's really simple actually in the next tutorial hopefully I'm gonna cover the like the main or the the window in here or the uh, I mean the the taskbar in here or the file window up part here so how we can do this or how to customize this for your own uh, you know like in the next one so thank you guys for watching I hope you really enjoy I will catch you in the next one